Hi, and welcome to another 5-Minute UAD Tip. Today, we'll take you through the Neve 88RS Channel Strip Plugin. The 88RS is Neve's flagship console and is often referred to as the finest analog console ever made. It's earned this reputation primarily because of its startling depth, openness, and clarity. Now the Neve 88RS is available exclusively for the U82 and Apollo platform, so studios of all sizes and budgets can have access to its legendary sound. Let's take a look and check out a few ways to use it in your mixes. We'll start at the bottom with the drums and insert an 88RS on each of the individual tracks. That's a lot of instances, but I've turned off DSP load lock in the meter and control panel. This lets us use just the power we need by enabling EQ and dynamics as required. We're going to use an engineering trick and engage the mic preamps on the line level drums. That lets us take advantage of the input transformers to add some warmth. Starting with the overheads, here's a before and after. Working our way through the kit, we'll add the kick and snare next. The kick has quite a bit of leakage and could use some fattening up, so perfect for engaging the gate, compressor, and EQ. Here's a before and after. The snare is a little thin and could use some girth, so again boosting the gain a touch with the mic pre and using the dynamics and EQ to fatten it up. Here's a before and after. To round out the kit and give it some stereo width, we'll fold the toms back in and balance everything out. Here's the whole kit before and after. This tune has a nice slide guitar part that carries all of the interludes. It was recorded with reverb and a little distortion from the amp, but it could use a little more sustain and warmth. As with the drums, using the mic preamp gives it a nice glow, and the compressor set to a fairly low threshold really stretches out the notes without bringing it too far into the foreground. Here's a before and after. Next, we'll add a nice acoustic guitar part to the bridges using the unison equipped preamps on the Apollo. We'll set the sound up and monitor through the Apollo console, and we'll assign Pro Tools' main output to a pair of virtual channels for easy monitor mixing. We'll set up the 88RS with a nice EQ and light compression to help it gel in the track, and record two passes of harmonized line parts. Here we go. The vocal on this piece is beautiful, and we just want to bring her a little closer to the listener. This is where the Formant Spectrum EQ really shines. Here's a before and after. Next, we'll shape the entire mix with an 88RS across the mix bus. We'll use a gentle overall EQ and compress it slightly to give it some sheen. Here's a before and after. Now 
As you can hear, the Neve 88RS channel strip plugin lives up to its hardware counterpart as one of the finest sounding consoles ever made. And now you can have the sound of this legendary piece of recording history in your own studio. Only for U82 and Apollo, and only from Universal Audio.